what's up soul squad what's up my soul squad happy sunday guys we are making tonight cabbage and fried pork chops with that silver tea flour my family is going to have leftover mac and lobster from my sofa from my birthday dinner from yesterday um quick video Comment below what you made for Sunday dinner or what you wanted to make but decided to go somewhere else and do something different. But tonight, I'm just focusing on what? Cabbage and fried pork chops and warming up some of this leftover macaroni and cheese. Um, lost the mac. Um, yeah, guys, until we go to this video, check out my retrieve guide. Go get some of retrieve guide. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. It's like a video cookbook and it could the closed caption could go from french to spanish back to english um you can read along with the notes you can speed it up go to certain points on the video on voice command yes go to my retrieve i take a look at it well you know what let's just watch it right now and then let's go cook <music> on this project for about maybe four months putting together a one-on-one -on -one cooking type of segment on retrieve retrieve is an app and they put your girl sofa tea on there so i'm gonna show you guys how my app works sofa tea retrieve guide and let me show you guys how this works i'm so before we go to the app guys if you don't have a telephone you could still have access to my guide through your browser and your computer just click on the link below in the description and just like that guys you're in my guide you don't need a telephone just hit that link button your browser and your computer and you're good to go now let's show you how the app works this is the app let's click the app this is my guide baked goods and comfort food guide cooking chicken with tanya we're gonna choose the first one let's hit guide view you can get both my guys soul squad for less than ten dollars baked goods and comfort food the um, recipes are at the bottom look through them we're gonna choose mac and cheese it come on already in closed caption but let's switch it tap the video hit cc you see English, French, or Spanish. Let's choose Spanish, and it's in Spanish. Closed caption. I love it. Back to the English. Now you can hit transcript. Read this word for word while watching the video, guys. And if you want to go to a certain part of this video, all you got to hit is time clip. You hit time clip, allow microphone access, and you could say something like um, stir noodles. Yeah, let's do stir noodles. And this is what's going to happen. It's going to take you to where the point of the video where I'm stirring the noodles. This is so amazing and quick. And then if you want some advice, you can hit that icon at the bottom. You can send me a message, a video. You can even send me a pic of the recipe you just did, and I could get back to you. You. guys this is that one-on-one -on -one cooking you've been asking for this is sofa tea retrieve guide everything you need is going to be in my description below hit that link less than ten dollars for both guys soul squad i can't wait to see you there all right guys this is my cabbage i'm gonna cut it up I always cut the that I always cut this um piece off right there I look like I didn't get all of it. Hey guys, so today, this is a quick video. I'm making cabbage and fried pork chops. And I had a dinner party on yesterday where it was catered. And I had some lobster mac and cheese. So we actually had some lobster mac and cheese left. So that's going to be the side. They just to put that on their plate and warm it up. So we're just going to do this fried cabbage. And this, um, not fried cabbage. I'll make this cabbage and yeah, I cut my cabbage with all kinds of crazy. I'll make cabbage and fried pork chops. No big pork chops today. Somebody said, make big pork chops. My kids like, mom wants a silver tea flour. That's what they call it. Too. They don't just say make it with your flour. They call it, mom, can you make it with that silver tea flour? Like they, so, they not, um, whew, like they don't know who I am. So I got, um, I'll drop some cabbage on the floor. Where's my strainer? Uh, 
gonna get my strainer down, guys. I'm so, uh, I hate getting things down out the cabinet. Because I'm gonna stick my cabbage that I cut up in the strainer. So I can rinse it down, season it, and get it. Because cabbage don't take a lot of water. Um, it don't take long to cook. So comment below. What are you guys cooking for your Sunday dinner? Something light. And later, here's a quick Sunday dinner. Not much to it, guys. Not much to it. Not much to it. You put any meat or anything in your cabbage. Now, somebody said, you making your mama cabbage? My mama took famous cabbage. Everybody loved Grandma Jackie cabbage. She make it a fat back and everything. But I don't. Hey, some people use bacon grease and all that stuff. I got kids and family people. My family don't like pork. So I make a good cabbage. Cabbage has always been my nemesis. Um, cabbage is my enemy. My cabbage is always a hit and miss. Um, sometimes it'll be right. And my son be like, dang, my grandmother cabbage. I don't want it. So sometimes I have to break in. So I got some people who like the fat back. Some people who don't. And like the one person who don't really like the fat back, he only eat cabbage. So I don't know why I don't do the, um, and there's no right or wrong way to flash your cabbage. It's on you, how you dice it. I love, I love a serrated knife. I know they put me for bread and things like that, but it just cuts so well. Good night to make some coleslaw. All right, guys, we're going to finish cutting this up like I told you. I'm going to make us some cabbage. Doing this cabbage and frying some pork chops. A real quick, simple dinner just because I don't have to... Um, Make a starch, just the veggie and the meat here. Okay, that's all cut up the way I want it. All right, it's like 608 here. Let me get this cabbage rinsed. So I always gotta rinse my cabbage, I'm sorry. Let me get it rinsed and in the pan and season and we be back. Okay, guys, my cabbage is on. Garlic powder. Onion powder. I like some pepper. And it's not that much water here because cabbage holds water. You don't need it. And I love this complete, y'all. It's complete. Y'all see that? This complete seasoning. Yeah. So we're going to let that cook up and everything. And if I get anybody else, I put onions. I mean, I put um, sugar and pure butter. I'm going to let this cook. Then, after this cook down, we'll taste it, see what other seasoning it needs. And um, this is left of the lobster mac and cheese. Um, yeah, when this get halfway done, I'll start the pork chops. Uh, I'll show you guys to put a piece of pure butter, a little bit of sugar. This cabbage to be fire. All right, guys, so y'all already saw the cabbage, right? So I had me some flour in my pork chops. Got my grease on. Got my pork chops. And what? Get your soaked tea flour, guys. You don't gotta season your meat or anything. <laughs> See in the background said, yeah, she on my phone. So yeah, I got my pork chops rinsed, set, dried. Got my grease on. Yeah. And let's get, and this is this leftover mac and um lobster mac and cheese. Um, courtesy of Chef Penny. Follow him on Instagram. So yeah. Got some bone in pork chops, center cut. Oh, I get all that flour, y'all. Nice size pork chop. They got only get two at a time, but I'm not mad about it. There you go. So yeah, for dinner tonight, 
Leftover lobster mac and cheese, cabbage, fried pork chops. You can't beat that on a Sunday, y'all. You just can't. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. I need to run to the bathroom. Talk to my sister on the phone. Mm. I enjoyed our conversation. If you know the conversation I had with the TT Squad, go over there on Slogan T Blog and check out our earlier conversation on um, this beautiful Sunday day. Um, it's late in the Sunday evening. So yeah, by the time you guys see the video, maybe about 10 o'clock at night. And I do apologize, y'all know. They're going through a whole lot. But at the end of the day, we still got to eat, right? So yes. All right, guys, let me run to the bathroom. Then it's talk to my sister. I'm going to be back when it's time to flip these pork chops. Okay, guys. That's my cabbage. It's doing what it's doing. It's cooked down. Y'all added a little bit of seasoning salt to that cabbage. Because that's what my mom would have done. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. And I added a little bit more complete seasoning. And now, cabbage don't take long to cook, y'all. I do my butter. You gotta put butter in cabbage, y'all. You got to. And along with that butter, if I can find some, I need some sugar. I think I got some sugar. What's up, girl? I need to go to the grocery store. I'm looking, y'all. Jackson, come give me that sugar. This is sugar in the um living room. Come give me that sugar. I love I just want groceries. It's in the bag. Come give me sugar. Mm -hmm. Come give me sugar. Y'all, I got the sugar. That's when I'm going to get it. All right, call me back, sister. Um. Let me see, let me see. How do you guys like y'all? Um, thank you, babe. Like your pork chops crispy. Well, you have to put them in. Not that much. Not that much. With a sprinkle of sugar. Like two teaspoons, that's all. Of sugar in that cabbage. Look, my cabbage almost done, y'all. It doesn't take long, cabbage long. You don't need to cook it with a lot of water. And there's just enough for the family. I only use, use one head of cabbage. I use the cabbage in the head. That's my sister. Yeah, it's here. All right. That's that cabbage, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see what that, um, with the um, pork chops doing. All right, guys. You like the pork chops a little bit crispy than that? Look at that. Look at that. That's the pork chops cooked, y'all. Hmm. Let's try to put it in the rest of them. So, I got my pot right here. Oh, man. Oh, I had my bag sitting next to the stove. Oh, I got another freeze bag, y'all. I had my bag sitting next to the, um, the cabbage. Put a hole in my freezer bag. I need some more. I'll give me some more too. All right. Gotta shake up. It's hot. Uh. 
I have to get ready for the next go around. Hey, I tell you, that's a short video. Let me give me a uh, um. Then the pan. And I put. Get my pan ready, put my pork chop there. Cabbage almost done. Again, let me know if you like a crispy pork chop. Pretty golden brown. Let that cook a few more minutes, guys. Let that cook a few more minutes. Okay, guys. I got my last two pork chops cooking. Just warm up that lobster mac and cheese. I'm gonna put on the plate for school. I'm gonna press it in it. I'm gonna put on the plate for tonight. Uh, this is my new plate. Mm -hmm. So, I got the lobster mac and cheese that I warmed up, guys. I'm about to plate that. Oh, two people have already made this place. I mean, I can't wait for the video over. They done made their plates so already. That's how quick they were ready to eat. So, look. Lots of mac and cheese, cabbage. And, let me see this right here. Turn this off just because pork chops are done. Pork chops are done, guys. I like to do, not using the grease pot, I like to push that pan to the back of the stove and somebody walk through. No accidents on my watch. I can sit these four chops right here. Go ahead. What I dream I'm do. That's why it's turned. And go ahead. And make that point for somebody. God, this is done. This is cabbage pork chops leftover lots of mac and cheese something quick y'all want some thank you chef henny look at that that's over some flour look at a nice crispy that pork chop that cabbage look at this look at that all right guys my next video like share subscribe hit that bell to be notified and let me know down below what you cook for your sunday dinner Yes, y'all getting it late, but I'm putting it up anyway. I love you so far, and thanks for all the prayers, love, and support to my family. We are out.